After several weeks of planning and researching, the development of Strong by 3 has finally begun. It will be a stealth game where you strategically fight enemies using martial arts. Hey, my name is Garrett and welcome to episode 71 of Attila's Trek. I first grabbed some skyboxes off the Unity Asset Store for some placeholders. They both looked really nice, especially when I added post-processing. However, there was the restriction that I couldn't really customize them outside of the exposure and some color tweaks, but it didn't look exactly right. I found this great tutorial article by Yannick Boysen who uses Shadograph to create a procedural and customizable skybox. I haven't finished it yet because I want to still implement lighting and clouds and some other things as well, but it's already looking really nice. I've also added a few extra things such as rotating and twinkling stars, which is pretty cool in my opinion. However, I feel like I've wasted a bit of time with Shadograph because it's not really the most important thing right now. I mean, although it, it looks really cool, I, I should probably focus a little bit more on the gameplay right now. For the actual player and the movement, I followed along with a Bracky's tutorial on a third person camera utilizing Cinemachine. It's not complete yet since you can't jump and gravity actually doesn't work since I'm using character controllers this time, uh, but it's got a good start. This is my first game where I have a third person free look camera like this, and I haven't really used Cinemachine and the character controller a bunch before, so it's definitely going to be a experience to experience. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of tweaking with it, but I am pretty happy with it so far. Additionally, I didn't want to leave my main player as just a capsule, so I got some models off of Mixamo by Adobe just as placeholder, uh, including this cool sort of cyberpunk looking guy, as well as Sporty Granny. So a large part of the game will be the combat, and that is what I was trying to do this week. You can select enemies by clicking on them and a ring will appear around them indicating that they are selected. In the combat planning menu, you can choose whether you will use a block, strike, or kick against the enemy, which will have a different effect. Right now, blocks do 0 damage, strikes do 1, and kicks do 2, and with the enemies right now having 2 health, kicks will insta-kill and strikes take 2, while blocks will do nothing. This is not how the combat system will end up in the future, it will be much more in-depth, but it's got a solid start. It's been a while since I've made a 3D game, and I'm trying to brush up on some of my 3D modeling skills. I completed level 1 of Blender Guru's awesome beginner tutorial. I made my beautiful pink donut and here is the first render. Recently because of I guess the Blender tutorial as well as Pixelmania, I've been getting much more into art and thinking about creating these beautiful looking worlds. One of my favorite games, also artistically, is Mirror's Edge. I just love the beautiful city and that cyberpunk sort of futuristic feel and it is pretty simple in terms of colors and textures and I'm thinking with this game I might go for a textureless route where I just use Shadograph and make the materials different in terms of just the base color and properties, but I'm going to experiment with that and try to go for some sort of stylized look like that. That is all for this week. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.